Stepping into your power, truth, and integrity will require a radical shift in your thinking and great strength and courage. You will need to shatter the boxes of traditional thinking and release the old subconscious programs that have been projected onto you by your parents, friends, science, education, religion, and culture. These distorted beliefs and subconscious programs you have accepted as your truth will sabotage you from being able to rise above the limitations, control, and manipulation of the mass consciousness on this planet. Most of us were brought up and encouraged to give our power away. We are told what to think, how to dress, which friends we should associate ourselves with, and which man-made religions would be imposed upon us as the ultimate truth. We grew up in a controlled environment, disconnecting ourselves from our inner voice by buying into the belief systems that have been passed down from generation to generation. Rigid rules and behaviors became our comfort zones, and the fear of rejection controlled us, keeping us from questioning those in authority. Our truth no longer came from our inner beings. It came from an external source, robbing us of a deeper connection with our own intuitive guidance systems. We became victims of circumstances, forgetting that we are co-creators of our lives and we have the power and responsibility to transcend anything in our lives that keeps us from accessing the magnificence of our beings. One of the most tragic ways humanity has given its power away has been through the belief that Jesus the Christ died on the cross for our sins and that we are separated from God and each other. This belief perpetuates fear, shame, and guilt keeping us from raising our vibrations and accessing our higher wisdom because we are focused on an external savior and an outer approach to God. We attend church services on Sunday, follow the outer rules and doctrines, yet deny our oneness with God and each other, creating separation and disharmony within the very churches we attend as well as with the rest of humanity. All of our responsibility and power is turned over to the church to save us because we do not want to take on the difficult task of the inner work, where we bring to our conscious awareness the negative beliefs, behavioral patterns, and psychological wounds that keep us in a disempowered state of consciousness. The outer approach is based on the belief that we can enter heaven by observing certain rules, doctrines, and authority figures on earth, as well as the belief that someone outside of ourselves is now responsible for our misqualified energy or sins. This belief promotes spiritual complacency and goes against the universal law of cause and effect. For every action, there is a reaction. Any misqualified energy we have created is our responsibility and can only be healed through our own personal inner work. Every word, thought, and action is contained and recorded within our soul's energy field. The only way to heal our misqualified energy is to step into our power fully accepting responsibility for our own transformation. Each of us must set a deliberate intention to transcend our current level of vibration or state of consciousness into a higher one so we can actively clear out the accumulated lifetimes of misqualified energy stored in our energy fields. This discordant energy can only be purified by the transformative and healing energies of our own personal and powerful God selves. When we believe God is somewhere outside of ourselves, we will never be able to merge with our God selves in order to bring our divine spirits down into the earth plane. Each of us needs to take back our power from outside sources and reactivate our internal power 
by attaining a direct relationship with our God spiritual selves. Through the inner work of meditation, the soul can invoke the healing energies of its God self to enter and activate all levels of its being, transmuting the misqualified energy that is ready to be healed. However, the state of consciousness that created the misqualified energy in the first place must also be acknowledged and transcended before our God cells will provide the grace of transmutation and healing. According to the Bible in Matthew 5.20, Jesus says that unless our righteousness, meaning our willingness to self-transcend, exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is a state of consciousness and it is found within a higher vibrating dimension within our own energy fields. In order for us to enter, we must transcend the consciousness of our lower selves or egos and put on the consciousness of the Christ the consciousness of the Christ knows that each one of us is a son and daughter of God. We are direct extensions of the Creator with a divine spark located in our hearts, which is infused with the same creative powers as God, simply needing to be activated. The Christ consciousness knows that all is one and intimately connected. What one man has done, all men can do. The return of Christ is the Christing of any individuals that have raised their vibrations high enough to anchor in and activate their God, Christ, Buddhic selves into their physical bodies. According to the Bible, Jesus says in John 14, 12, These things I do, you shall do, and more. Jesus the Christ was one of the most influential and amazing beings to ever incarnate into a human body, and he came here to show us the way. He intended for us to follow his example, not put him up on a pedestal and buy into the belief that only Jesus could attain such a high level of consciousness. This belief is disempowering and keeps us stuck in duality and separation. Jesus is an incredible being that we are to aspire to be like. He is a son of God, but so are each one of us. We are all one. There is no separation. Everything is a direct extension of God. Everything came out of God's energy. And everything is always connected to God and to each other. Each of us is responsible for our own salvation. We must take our power back and accept responsibility for the lives we create. We are powerful co-creators fully capable of attaining the same level of consciousness that Christ did. We each need to step into our power and go within the innermost part of our beings, seeking to attain a direct experience with God. When we connect with our God selves, bringing our spirits into matter, we allow God to experience this world through us. This is the highest potential of our souls, to literally be so infused and closely connected with our God selves that our God selves and our souls are both able to grow and expand. That is the true nature of God, to transcend itself and become more than it was before. How can we possibly attain soul growth when we have disconnected and blocked ourselves from the very essence of divinity by believing that something outside of ourselves can give us God? Stepping into your power, truth, and integrity means that you will no longer allow others to do your thinking for you. When you commit yourself to meditation, seeking the kingdom within, you will expand your consciousness and have a greater knowing of higher truths. 
The more you meditate and transcend your lower self behavioral patterns, the higher your vibration will rise and the clearer your energetic fields will become. Cloudy energy fields interfere with clear guidance and keep you from accessing a higher vibration. As your energetic blocks are cleared, guidance from your God self will become easier. It will take time, practice, and faith to reach such a point of clarity. Trust yourself and honor yourself for staying open to the expansion of your higher consciousness. Allow yourself to evolve into deeper truths and a heightened connection to your divine essence. The higher your vibration, the higher level of truth will be revealed to you. Ultimately, your level of truth is based on your level of consciousness. Unfortunately, many people have bought into the truths of certain organizations and they feel they know it all. This leads to a contracted and limited state of consciousness that keeps people from growing and expanding. Resist the urge to fall into this trap. You have a built-in ability to know the truth, to know what is the right thing to do for you. Only you can know what is right for you. This kind of knowingness is beyond the intellect and the rational mind, the ego. This kind of knowingness comes from the heart, the soul. Tap into your soul consciousness, trust yourself, and follow your own truth. There is only one way for us to reach the kingdom of God, and that is through ourselves. It does not matter which man-made religion we have bought into. What matters is our desire and willingness to transcend our lower selves so we can expand our consciousness and have a direct experience and relationship with God through the activation and healing of our souls. According to the Bible in John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the only way to my Father. He knew his father could be found within his own being. There are a multitude of organizations that can assist you on your pathway back to God, and they are the ones based on unconditional love, unity, forgiveness, compassion, acceptance, and peace. However, make sure you do not give your power away to these organizations. They may be able to lead you in the right direction and provide comfort, but ultimately it is you who must do the inner work to connect with your God Self. Any organization that does not honor the divinity within every being is based on fear, sin, hierarchy, disempowerment, separation, and judgment, and is not in alignment with the love and truth of God. So choose the organizations you invest your time and energy in wisely. Set your intention to step back into your power, releasing all disempowering activities, beliefs, and subconscious programs that keep you from truly accessing and remembering who you truly are. No one can save you but you. You are the most powerful force in your life and no one can deprive you of this power unless you allow them to. God gave you the freedom to pursue your own unique path, and it is up to you to reclaim your divine birthright to create the life you want. Step into your power, be courageous, and stop allowing other people to make decisions for you. Choose to live from the center of your being and become the director of your own life. Do not allow other people's opinions, judgments, criticisms, and beliefs to deter you from living your own authentic, divinely aligned life. Be true to yourself and release the people, places, and things that do not empower and enhance your light. 
You are a divine spark, a piece of God, and no one but you and God knows what is best for you. Friends, family, spiritual teachers, books, classes can all be of great assistance and point you in the right direction. However, you must be very vigilant in not giving your power away to external sources. Your power and truth lie within. Don't allow anyone or anything to ever get in the way of your divine right to choose. <laughs>